right? Hey guys, it is Tenor Savvy at camp. Um, I just wanted to make a little video. I know sometimes it's hard for all of us to comprehend and read all the words in the emails, so we thought doing a video might be helpful to show you some things that you need to do. So I know a lot of um, parents have asked for where can I find that medical authorization form, which is the form that the doctor signs. Where can I find a packing list? Things like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to our website, campbasket.org, and you're going to come to Camber Resources. Once you're in Camber Resources, you'll see these things here. So, oh, I can't remember when check in, check out is. The times are. Here you go. Packing list here. Um, Camber eligibility, medical authorization. You're going to click on it, and there's your form right there. It's two pages. The doctor needs to sign both. Um, and you sign as well. So you have that, and I will show you what, you, how you can upload that yourself in a minute. But you have that, you have your weekly themes, summer session dates, medication, packaging, and acceptance policy, which has changed. I've been emailing that out, but it's just so in case you need to know, we'll pull it up right now. Um, all daily scheduled medications, and then there's the PRN or as needed medications. Just to clarify, we have dedicated, mm -mm, designated medication passers at Camp Aska. They are all trained and they will be giving all daily scheduled medications. Those will be blister packs. They can include over-the-counter and prescription um, prescriptions, but we will need the prescription labels from the pharmacy on them, whether you pack themselves, pack them yourself or a pharmacy or a pharmacist packs them. We will need those prescription labels. Um, and a note for your doctor for any over-the-counter, for example, melatonin, um, you will have a doctor's note saying that your camper can take melatonin 10 milligrams at night. Um, this also includes liquid medications, eye drops, inhalers, powders. Um, no, we're not asking you to put those in blister packs um, because that's not possible, but we will need the prescription label on any of those things. For PRN and as needed medications, those will be given by our camp nurses as always. Um, but we will need to have you um, have a note for those and you will drop those off to the nurses which will be towards the beginning of your check-in and then um, you will give your blister packs to the dedicated <laughs> designated medication passers. They're dedicated also. <laughs> so back to our um, back to our website, you're going to come over here and you're going to change medications um, in the computer. You're going to come here to registration and login and you're going to click that. Um, once here, you're going to sign in using the sign in that you use to register your camper. I'm going to use this one really quick. We have made a fake camper to use um, this week. What were the numbers again? 1997. So you'll log in this way and you're going to scroll down and you will see view my registration. So you will click on view details for 2023. You're going to come in and you will see here on your left, this is where you can upload things. So when we use the, um, the word, you know, upload your medical authorization form, there's a few things. There's two pages. So right here, you can upload page one and upload page two there. If it's a file that both pages are together, you can click here and upload those pages together there. You can take a photo of it, upload them here, um, or upload the original document if you've got it in the PDF form. So that's the way you can do that. And then you're going to come over here and you'll see medical form under forms over here and it says in progress. That means that you can open it up. So you're going to click on the word medical form. If weight has changed, you can change that. We're going to keep going a little bit. Um, until we get to the meds. So this is where we're wanting you to make any changes. Um, these are the ones that were already in there. One thing that we learned yesterday in our first check-in, um, that some people, some medications have the generic name and then some have the brand name. What we are needing from y'all with those blister packs is whatever the, the prescription label says on it, that's on your blister pack or connected to your blister pack, that word, um, so, you know, needs to be in the computer. Here I've used both. Um, for example, Lexapro is also known as, as escitalopram. Um, if the blister pack says escitalopram, put that in there, but you can never go wrong with both of them in there. 
So we just want to make sure the blister pack matches what the pharmacy label says on your blister packs. They match what's in the computer. Um, the milligrams stay the same, the pills stay the same. So here we're going to go. This albuterol inhaler says two puffs as needed. Because it's a PRN, as needed med, um, we still need you to put these in here, but this will be given to the nurse um, before you get to the med passers here at camp. So you may want to keep your PRN medication separate from your blister packs. Um, then you're going to come here and we have Singular. Um, Singular one pill at breakfast. You know what? She doesn't take that one anymore. She actually takes Zyrtec. So you can just come in here and change that. It's 10 milligrams steel and that's all that's changed. That's great. Over here, she just swallows that pill. Down here, we're going to say, you know what? She um, doesn't take Lexapro 40 milligrams anymore. We titrated her down to 20 milligrams um, and everything else stays the same. So, but we also added another medication. So you're gonna add another medication, put in the information here, and move on. Say there's another medication, you're adding three medications, you will add another medication for each individual medication um, when you do that. So add medications, so then you're like, you know what, we, we deleted one, or you know what, she doesn't use that albuterol inhaler anymore, so we're just gonna X right here and it deletes that for us. So that's the way you will edit meds um, it can't brain and we just want you like I said I'm trying to set you up for success because if you get here and this the medications in our computer don't match what's in your blister pack you will have to get out of line and go to a separate area where we will have to fix those with you here and this will greatly increase your checking time so please let me know if you have any questions guys um, this is how we do that when you're done you want to make sure that you come down to the bottom and you save changes once changes are saved, you can get out of all of this and log out. If for some reason you come in and you make changes now, once you click save, it's going to close this form. So if another change occurs before your camper um, comes to check in, just call us in the office and we can unlock the page for you again. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon.